in addition, the car has an adaptive uh, air suspension. It's literally built, yeah, with active air suspension. So this will come standard on all the cars. I think this is actually a very important uh, design element um, because if you have a, a if, 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 every, if every truck has the ability to adjust the ride height, so you can go very low or very high, so you can be efficient on the highway and you can, you can also go off-roading, um, it's gonna have uh, the highest clearance of any, any production truck. So we're gonna have a, 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 about a 16 inch clearance. Um, and uh, you can adjust this on the fly. So it's adaptive damping and, and adaptive uh, ride, ride height. These, these are actually extremely important for a truck. Because trucks, when you only drive them, they're either too cushy or they're, they're too hard. Um, you need it to be able to adjust dynamically depending upon what the load is. If you've got a lot of people on board, if you've got a full bed in the, in the back, it's got to adjust accordingly. So, yeah. Um, let's talk, talk about the, uh, we call it the vault. Cybertruck Vault. So, let's see. Yeah. Let's look at, I should, let's demo this active, so yeah. So. The rear is 100 cubic feet, six and a half foot uh, length, bed length, uh, up to 3,500 pounds of payload. Yeah. And it can tow. <laughs> but what about a real world, real world test? Like, let's let's uh, actually have a tug of war here with an F one hundred and fifty. So you can see, you know, we're see, see which one can pull which. Let's let's uh, let's do the tug of war video. Pull. I mean, yeah, but it was uphill. <laughs> so let's see on road the performance. <laughs> wow. <laughs> now let's see the how does this uh, compare to uh, a Porsche 911? <laughs> okay, we're going to give the Porsche a little bit of a head start. <laughs> yeah. This is a this is a current current edition Porsche. That this, and this is the actual truck. That this is not CGI. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In terms of off-road performance, it's going to have the best uh, angular approach angle, best clearance heights, best departure angle. For people that are really uh, going off-road, this is going to be great. You can basically do the Baja Rally in this thing. Yeah. Wow. Three ranges. So, yeah. So obviously they'll have access to all the superchargers, uh, be capable of uh, more than 250 kilowatts. We'll reveal the actual number later. Uh, and uh, it has onboard outlets for 110 and, 100 and 220 volts. So you don't need a generator. Yeah. The, the, the truck literally is your generator. Um, and as a little plus, because it's got an air suspension, we can tap off the air suspension, so you have a, a, a pneumatic source. So you have an, a, a, yeah. yeah. You onboard air compressor. Of course, it will come with autopilot standard. Yeah. So the, the way three versions. And but it's gonna.
That, that's the price without any incentives. That's just like the price without any incentives. Um, but the, the actual economics are even better than that uh, because the cost of electricity is much less than the cost of gasoline. So when you look at the actual cost of ownership here, uh, it's, it's, you know, you, you, you're paying uh, much less for electricity than you are for, for gasoline. You're paying much less for maintenance. There's no oil changes, no smog checks, no nothing, none of that stuff. Uh, so your maintenance is low. Your cost of operations is low. Um, and so it's actually comparable to a, a truck, a gasoline truck that's ten to $15,000 less. Yeah. So. All right. Yeah, so you can order now if you would like. <laughs> Tesla.com slash Cybertruck. <laughs> oh, 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 I should say also, we're going to be offering rides in this all night. Yeah, don't mind the glass. So, anyway, th thank you guys for coming. Thank you. Uh, and, uh,